On Saturday, the hashtag FU Washington began trending. It spread on Twitter after a debt crisis rant by blogger and professor Jeff Jarvis, but quickly became something much larger, a Twitter-wide indictment of American politics. Even President Obama himself called the debt ceiling negotiations a three-ring circus just last night. Or as at Amy E. Walter tweeted, that was political American Idol. Make sure to call in tomorrow for the plan you love the most. Joining us now via Skype is the man behind the blog, buzzmachine.com, and the one who encouraged us, us all to say, F.U. Washington. I'm not going to say it here. Jeff Jarvis, well, how are you? Well, obviously it's not F.U. Washington, and <laughs> if you had uh, cojones, you'd say the whole thing, because you're not restricted by the FCC on the Internet. It's the Internet. You can say anything you want to. That's the whole point. I know. I, I do. I'm being respectful. We have, they have teen fans here. <laughs> that oh, listen. and they've <laughs> never heard the word. <laughs> so... Let's, there's no shortage, of course, of talk about the debt crisis in the media. People say passionate things online, as you mentioned, every day and using whatever word they want. Why do you think your message was so phenomenally embraced? Obviously, it's what people think. The thing about the Internet is that you don't control a message. It's not like media or, or marketing or politics where people think they create and control messages. Yeah. On the Internet, you throw a message out, and either it resonates or it doesn't, as Jeff Howe, who's at crowdsourcing on Twitter, said, uh, you know, all I did was uh, find a pile of very dry tinder and I threw the match on it. But very quickly it left my control and people used it fa in a fascinating way to say, F you Washington, for this or for that or for this. And it brought out their frustration, but that also means it brought out their higher expectations that are being delivered by Washington right now. Well, yeah, and in that, I see hope. It moved way beyond the debt crisis. What do you think that says about the political climate right now in America? It's effed. Mm -hmm. It's a mess. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm using your language. I don't like to, but I, I will. Jeff, uh, you know what? I appreciate that. I, I, I think it's wimpy and wussy, but uh, this is political speech. You know, I've defended BS as political speech against the FCC. I've defended Howard Stern against the FCC. Mm -hmm. uh, this is about uh, just plain speech, and yeah. it is legitimate political speech given how messed up Washington is right now. They have a job to do to manage the government, and they're not managing the government. It's as simple as that. Yeah, that's right. The sentiment online really reflected that. A lot of the tweets we saw range from humorous to very passionate to politically charged, obviously. Um, a couple of them, I'll read them for you right now. Just assume, if you will, that at the beginning of each declaration, I'm saying, F you, Washington. Uh, Poison Jensen posted, for lying to your constituency, we, the people. And Mr. Petapucci said, for letting corporations steal our natural resources and sell them back to the people for profit. Yeah, I mean, those were just some. And I know you posted some on your blog as well, Jeff, some of your favorite. Yeah, and, and, and there's so many of them. I think last I looked, there was more than 75,000 of them, which, in wow. the, you know, on the grand Internet isn't a lot. But you consider in the old media how many of those 75,000 messages would have gotten in as, let's say, letters to the editor. Well, Maybe one or two. And so that's what's so refreshing about this is we get to hear finally the voice of the people unmediated. Yeah, well, Rhett and Link here, you know, they've created viral videos, so they understand memes. Why do you think this intrigues so many people to be part of this conversation? Because it's simple. The, uh, I mean, the F word. Oh. oh, what? What? Because what? the F word was in it. Oh, really? People love the F word, especially <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah. And, and yeah, well, but think? I think it's not just it's not just the silliness of it. It also does express the the honest anger. Yeah. Uh, people tried to suggest that it should be changed to F Y W or to other things. But again, I lost control of it, and I think that the, the authenticity, gosh darn it, Washington wouldn't have had the same No, force. it would not. But actually, oh yeah, no, <laughs> it, it wouldn't. But a lot of people actually said you were targeting the city. People were mad that you included That's the Washington. So what do you say to people, yeah, who say That's that you should have so used ridiculous. the word Congress I mean, of geez, Politicians? I Washington it is showing state. itself to not have a sense of humor. Um, at some point, it's ridiculous. Obviously, I'm not targeting the city of Washington, though now I have cause to for being humorless. Clearly, we're targeting the government they happen to house. Yeah, and, and if Washington was paying attention to all this, what do you think they could take away from the viral response? People are mad. They're very mad. And the problem is that we did not have a system that works very well to express that anger, unfortunately, at the ballot box. We get a limited number of choices. We bring them back in. But the internet gives us this opportunity to yell and scream. Now, I don't want to pretend for one single second that this approaches to rear square or that Twitter caused to rear square either. Mm -hmm. But the lesson for all politicians, all large institutions, is that the people finally have a voice. Mm -hmm. And they better damned well listen. And you have a book coming out where you talk a bit about this as well. 
Yeah, and, and, and it'll seem like I was just promoting that. I wasn't. It, it taught me lessons that I try to teach in the book. It's called Public Parts, about the value of publicness and the importance of these tools of publicness we have. Privacy is very important, and, and it needs protection. But at the same time, we need to look at the other end of that equation, at publicness, and see how we can protect the power that the people now have in these tools. Definitely, Jeff. Well, thank you so much. It was so interesting to watch this unravel over the weekend and blog about it Plus on for our me site too. as well. Thank you for joining us today. I appreciate it. And that brings us to today's poll. Do you think memes like FU Washington provide a healthy means for expressing our frustrations? Let us know by answering the poll on our website, whatstrending.com. We'll have the results at the end of the show.